All right, y'all. We're going to Joe Retro World. Today, we're going to take a look at the PlayStation 3 Super Slim. This beautiful girl was the last rendition of the PlayStation 3. Came out late September 2012. It was their last attempt to get as many sales as they could from the dying system, which was the PlayStation 3, because, of course, PlayStation 4 came out. Everybody was moving over. And so Sony was like, hey, let's just do everything that we can possibly do to cut corners. And so, yeah, they really cut corners a lot, but not in performance. The PlayStation 3 has all the same specs. It still runs great. There was no issues. Even the overheating issue that the PlayStation 3 original, the fat girl, the one I have right over here, this fat girl right here, she was really, really bad about overheating and getting the yellow light of death and then the red of course it just completely stopped working so after this fat version they went ahead and switched over to the playstation 2 slim and now this version was sexy in its own self it was able to uh of course play the same game same quality with the same io and all in the back it had the uh, two usb in the, in the front of course and then after that soup that slim model they came out with, of course, the Super Slim. And she really is beautiful, y'all. She really is. I cleaned her up. I went ahead and polished her all up to get all the scratches that that I can possibly get out from these chrome, well, these shiny pieces. I, I really do love when the console comes like this with this mirror finish. You can see there's two, three little deep, deep scratches that I couldn't remove. But I got pretty much all the rest. Took my time. I got me some car polish and went through and cleaned it real good. I took it all apart and just took my time. I got a polishing cloth just like this. This is a one that you use to polish the car from, you know, any shop or any O'Reilly's or, or AutoZone, whatever. And then I got some car polish. This is not wax, y'all. This is polish. And as you can see, it actually says on the back new finish contains absolutely no wax it won't scratch your clear coat finish so when you go to find some polish get something that says that uh, i'm not endorsing this that's why i kind of cover the the name the brand name because i just want you to be able to go and get color polish okay do not get any other thing no compound no wax you want the polish this is good enough for removing all the scratches in finishes just like this girl right here has i use it on my playstation 3 to buff out everything on it any part that you do not want polished just put some tape over it you know some masking tape i put a little bit of masking tape over the playstation symbol and the sony symbol right here and then i buffed the rest of it i buffed underneath it it's a little dirty from my my hands touching it okay but trust me it polished up really, really nice. Let me set that down. And actually clean it like this. You just use this cloth. I use this cloth. And when I wash these cloths and reuse them, I make sure to put them in delicate cycle and use a safe soap that's uh, gentle. Look at that. Just beautiful, y'all. I'll leave a link in the description to the video showing you how to take this apart because it's very, very simple. It, it's a lot less complicated than the other models. It, to me, it was easier because they designed it that you can replace the laser right here really easy. There's not even nothing holding it down. It's, it's this case, those two screws right there. This one and this one over there. Those two, you take this case off. And this basically is just sitting there with gravity being held on with this case. It's nice. It's it's a really good design. They really did cut corners wherever they could to save themselves money, but at the same time still offer quality. And like I said, all the issues of overheating and all that are completely gone. And this fan runs really, really quiet, y'all. It is amazing how quiet it runs. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to go ahead and hook it up. He got some profile, whoever the original owner was. I'll go ahead and show you his profile name. But it's there. But um, 
Before we go, let me just make sure I recapped some information on there. Like I said, it came out September 2012. The original launch edition of the Super Slim was the CECH 4000. Came out either 250 or 500 gigabytes here in America. In the power region, it only came with the uh, 12 gigabyte of flash memory, which was a 4000A model. But you can always buy an upgrade for them, poor dudes. That ain't right. They had to buy an upgrade. In the UK, they had a 500 gigabyte, which was released in late September 2012. By the 12 gigabyte model was available October 12. So if you wanted it early, you would do that or wait to September and get the the better version, the 500 gigabyte. But yeah, it it has its own, you know, 4000B came up with 4200 model. Mine, what is my model? Let's see. Let's turn it around and check it out, y'all. Oh, okay, it's a 4301A model. Yeah, so this was close to the end of the production. And that's a good thing because that means the thermal paste, even though it's just, it really is old, you know, it's, it's from 2012. That's almost, what's that, 11 years old now? So it's only 11 years old. And if it was 20 years old, like the launch edition maybe, or older, not, <laughs> not that old, but you know what I mean. It has a better chance of lasting me longer, okay? Buying one of these is not guaranteed that you're going to have the best experience. You know, you, you might get a model that was abused by somebody and they didn't take care of it. They didn't keep it in a place where they had proper ventilation or they were abusive with it. But if you were lucky enough to get one that was well taken care of, you should not have to do anything to it. Don't worry about taking it completely apart to where you're going to redo the thermal paste and maybe break it. Just leave it alone. Take it apart down to the fan. Dust the fan with some Q-tips. And that's about it. You know, blow it out real good. That way, any dust that is built up in it. And depending on how bad it looks, when you open it up, you can actually say whether or not you want to go further with an even deeper dive of cleaning. Okay? That's my recommendation. I opened this up. It was virtually perfectly spotless on the inside, just as clean as it looked on the outside and all i really had to do was just really scrub it down with some soap and water just to take off a little residue maybe the person was uh, not a smoker but you still have you know uh, grease from cooking in the house you still have other uh, the, uh, dust and debris that flies around in the environment in your home even though you try to keep it as clean as you can even with a helper filter in your home there's still matter that flies around it's just quantum physics it's just gonna happen so periodically clean it with a little bit of windex and a uh polishing cloth I, I use this for everything i even use it for my crt tvs to maintain the screen you know when i'm cleaning but let's hook up this baby and show you some gameplay of it i have it set up over here alongside my other systems because it just looks so sexy this is where I play it. She sits right there because if I put the fat one here, proportionally, it doesn't look right. I like evenness, okay? Everything must flow with a chi, with a beautiful, you know, mathematical one plus one is two, okay? I have to have one, two, three. So for the PlayStation 3 to sit fat and tall and sexy on the left with the playstation i mean the playstation 5 on the left playstation 3 fat on the right it just looks balanced it's just perfect i love it i love the setup that i have right here i got the playstation 1 2 and 3 on the bottom with the 4 right there underneath the original 3 yeah it's hovering it's workable it doesn't overheat it's been there for four years and no issue so don't tell me nothing about that but yeah let's hook this up and play some playstation 3 games all right, so it came with an original Sony controller. I'm gonna use uh, the cable. It came with also a power cable, a sync cable. Let's plug it up to the uh, USB one drive. Turn it on with the PlayStation, of course, button.
and it's actually using the the same uh, cable and and USB drive from uh, the PlayStation Five, y'all. Let me adjust this camera so you can see it better. Check out some Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Okay. She is old, y'all. <laughs> doing everything like it's supposed to. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Give me a... Oh, of course, no. Online. <laughs> it's all right. Normal. Welcome to the world of Mark. 
Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Show me your strength. Don't hold back. This is a huge jump from the it's graphics on uh, Mario and Capcom 2. As you can see, it still performs beautifully, y'all. There was no difference between the performers at all, okay? And preferably, if you can find a Super Slam, it will actually last you longer, okay? People have said this for years, and I completely understand because it was made toward the end. Get ready for the fight of your life. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, y'all. I uh, I will Show leave a description on how to uh, completely dismantle it, and clean it, do the thermal paste, everything, and the link in the description okay, on the below. So go check that out. And uh, yeah, enjoy your PlayStation 2 family as much as I am. Run, run, run.